believe to be a great driver, you have to be fully focused and committed from the beginning. You have to push every time and prove to everyone around you that you are good enough. You know you won't have a second chance. This is a fighting spirit you have when you come from a background like me. My family is a, a pure motorsport family. My grandfather drove in go-kart and then my father in single-seater. It's the only thing I knew, basically, from the family. What we have to go through as a, as a young race driver is something very special, very different to the normal life of a kid. You have to be fully committed and do a lot of sacrifice on a lot of stuff, which sometimes are, are painful and, and not so easy, but a lot of things you learn very quickly, very early. It's something which gives you a, a character as a race driver, and I think you hold it. I still love the fact to drive fast as much as when I was 10 driving go-kart races. Okay, Kevin, prepare yourself on the outlap. Fire the engine. To feel the speed, feel the risk you have to take, the adrenaline. feedback you get from the tires, from the pedal. Everything is natural. You feel at home. My nature in a race car is to push and maybe take more risks than other guys. Two wheels on the dirt, gonna get the lead! Fantastic stuff! I just do what I think is correct for the moment. I've always been on the aggressive side. So it bites you sometimes. The life of a racing driver is a very tricky one. You have to fight every day to get sponsors, to fight to do every qualifying lap, to fight to be focused and, and sacrifice everything for your goal. When you are with your family, you just uh, forget about all this and just enjoy the moment and, and live the, the life of a, of a father and a, a husband, which is very different to the, the racing life. It's in our nature, I think, as race driver, to have some doubt. You can't be always confident of yourself and what you have underneath you. We know the risk we take every time we jump in the car. This is always in the back of our mind. 
but when you're driving, if you start to think about this, then for sure is the moment you have to stop being a racing driver. Crew on standby. Your check light and clear. I've never had the experience that after a crash I would feel not good going into the car, being scared or thinking too much. The moment I put the helmet, I just come into a racing mode. Three minutes to the formation lap. Tires to the car, please. Tires to the car. The feeling you get in that moment is something you can't really describe by words. Under one minute, under one minute. Prepare for launch. Just keep your head down and hopefully nothing happens. Three, two, one. Track is green, track is green. Every time I sit in the car, it has to count. That's what defined me as a race driver.